Hello everybody, welcome back. So this video is slightly out of sequence, but while I was doing some experimentation, I noticed this issue, which, well, it could be an issue, so I thought I'd do a quick video. It's regarding the focus blocks as well as this shield. So here's my 10... what longer a module and if you look down there you can see the, the, the laser and what I've noticed is if you're doing maintenance this housing can go on two ways it can go on that way and if you look here this is the wrong way you can see the laser uh, beam would not be in the middle of the square opening and if you notice the back of the shield is almost level with the back plate of the laser now the correct way is taking it off and turning it around 90 degrees and now you can see the laser beam would be center of that really large orifice and now you'll notice that you can see silver at the back so if you are doing some maintenance <laughs> make sure you get that on the right way because it could affect your performance anyway that's that that way so the other thing was i've been working on sidetracking slightly making my own air assist no nozzles so i started off with something really basic like this where everything was fixed and these would say take half an hour to print 40 minutes but then I was stuck with this orifice size so then I thought Andy I'm wasting my time here let's make it changeable so what I did I've made a standard body which bolts onto laser and I'll show you that and excuse the paint in my hands I've been decorating today I haven't had a shower yet but I thought this morning I found this issue so I thought I need to get this video made so these um, so I print this once but now it's easy for me to print these nozzles and this is a nozzle with a two mil orifice so these now drop in down there I just use a tool to press it in it sort of clicks down and now that is give me a two mil nozzle to try and it does make a lot of so the way these nozzles are working you need to take two screws out the back of the laser then it just slides over there you put two screws back in there you need to get some longer uh, three mil screws and then this hole here is where my air assist tube comes in so that's that one and then this is the one with the two mil nozzles that's how they fit so once that's on i still have to take it off to change the nozzle but it's far quicker than <laughs> printing these and that's just a waste of material i mean the body is always the same it's just the orifice which is changing difference because if you haven't seen some of my posts let's see so this was um no air assist this was with air assist with a large hole and this was with air assist with a smaller hole so i'm talking about the hole in the nozzles i'm making so you can see no air assist you're getting not much penetration on the cut and you're getting lots of brown staining on here so this is what with uh, no air assist and this had a 6.5 mil hole so it wasn't this this small one I've yet to really do more testing on this and as you can see this is four mil ply from my local shop so um, ignore this this um, low air because what I'm meaning by low air to me is I was using the 6.5 mil hole so it's given me um, low air pressure coming out I wasn't changing the pump and I've done a video about the pump I'm using to make it quieter so you can see it did make a difference uh, on the cutting then ignore these numbers here because I, I messed up here I got all my numbers wrong but it's the same it's the same cutting power so this with was a four mil hole so this is 6.5 and this is four mil 
and you can see the massive difference it's made on air assist so that's why I had to develop uh, an easy way for me to change the nozzles anyway getting back to focus which is the idea of this video so when you're focusing they're giving you this block and I've yet to find out where the focus is so when you focus on the material so you put this on your material you slide the laser down so this block is hitting this this back section here and that's set in focus but I need to do more experimentation to see whether the focus point is on top of the material or somewhere within the material anyway I digress so the reason for this video and I think this is vital because it makes over one millimeter difference in your focus I'm focusing on focusing no pun intended so you've got the back plate here and you've got the laser mod module here so the laser module this is the laser itself then I've got a sort of a three mil section here and that is this housing this is the, the front and this is the back but then you've got this back plate so there's the back plate here and there's the back plate of the laser so when you've got your shield on if I put it on the right way that's what it would be looking like now the problem is there can you see this is the back plate of the laser which is there and if I go up over one millimeter this is the housing of the laser so you've got to be careful I believe reading the manual the focus block should be touching the back plate of the laser here is very easy when you're fumbling around trying to put this block behind your laser changing the two screws here that instead of having it there where it's meant to be you go one mil wrong and there you can see the gap so if I put that down change it around so I can use my other hand so now that is on the laser itself so where's my calipers so if I measure that distance with the calipers and need to change the batteries in these the difference in your focus is 1.24 millimeters on my module here and anyway, I assume they're all the same they all come out the same factory built the same way so just be careful when you're focusing material that either you're going to push it on there every time and then you learn how to do your focus or you push it actually on the back plate. If you start swapping in between running the same jobs you're going to be out of focus. So I just thought I'd throw that video up. Um, to help I mean, if you've got the issues and you, you think oh, I've done run this job so many times and I, why is it not burning through it's because you're not focusing properly anyway um, yeah stay tuned regarding these nozzles I've got some exciting stuff coming about these I need to redo cutting on the boards to see how much better the smaller nozzle makes i'm assuming it will make a huge difference because you actually be blowing the wind down into the kerf um, but yeah got lots of exciting things coming up anyway that's andy um saying yeah almost good afternoon if you like what i'm doing and um i've earned your trust on this video maybe you like to subscribe to my channel it does really help and commenting below the videos really helps and i do answer all all the comments uh, that i find on the videos and you may like to see some of these videos popping up um here there and everywhere wherever they are up here down there who knows anyway let me know what you think have you found this video useful that's andy wishing you a good afternoon for now